Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful day here in Lullaby Gardens and this is once again the demo of the game that will hopefully be coming out by Die Day or Da Die Studios hopefully by I think May 2018 is their goal so a little over a year from now and I'm really excited because as many of you guys know from yesterday's episode this is a Kickstarter game and it has been up on Kickstarter for about half a month now and as of yesterday it has become fully funded so that means hopefully within a year we will be seeing or a little over a year we will be seeing this game truly come to life and you're supposed to have up to 60 hours of gameplay in it and I'm really excited to see the animals in fact let's go see the animals again right now we're gonna run over I think if we run this way that's the long way so I'm gonna run this way and I'm sure there's a way to like actually run in the future too because all of this is just sort of the rough draft of a game that's what these demos often can be at this stage just sort of the rough drafts not the final form or the final version just yet but I really love where everything's going and I want to go look at the animals again I'm so glad so many of you thought they were so cute but I'm also really 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 glad oh look at those horses aren't they just so cute Oh, I love their eyes. I love their little hooves. Oh, they're so adorable. Who knows how many patterns we'll have. I wonder if I can breed them and have adorable little foals. I totally forgot we have the whole fish area to explore. That adorable little boat and the lighthouse. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at the piglets. The piglets are following the parent. Oh, that's too cute. That is just way too cute. Oh, this is so fun. I am very excited that this game got fully funded. So now there's stretch goals and oh, that's the orchard. Let's go look at the orchard. There's stretch goals and who knows what else is going to be added in. So definitely keep an eye on it. But we'll finish up today by poking around at the demo and just having little hints of what we might be able to expect in the future from them. So let's wind around here. Interesting. I know that if they get more fan art or more shares, then I think having treasure maps so that you can find different items through the world. Can I walk off this? I can. Oh, she jumped. That's so cute. But I know having like treasure maps so you can find different treasures in the world are definitely a thing. There's supposed to be crocodiles that you can... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a flower. There's supposed to be crocodiles that you can run into, um, different dungeons you can go in to gather up the stuff that you sell in your little store. So it sounds very, very promising and I really hope it's going to be. Oh, look at that. Big old lighthouse. Oh, I wonder if you can go to like a little island or something like that. That would be interesting. It's totally just in the imagination stage still. And I was so excited to see how many of you are really hopeful. Kind of 3D uh, Rune Factory, 3D, um, 3D Stardew Valley sort of feel. Let's talk to this person. Manami. Let's go ahead and speak with her. Oh, she's a fisher. Look at that. Oh, I really like her shirt. I remember when I arrived in town for the first time years ago. A bit overwhelming to meet everyone, isn't it? I won't bother you for too long. If you ever feel like fishing, just come by and ask for Manami. Oh, that would be so fun. Oh, I really like her hat too. That seems like a very practical hat for fishing. I wonder if you'll be able to customize what you look like. Oh, look at those acorns. Oh, they're so cute. I wonder what the heck the white one is. That is interesting. And there's cherries. And of course we have the beehives everywhere. There's supposed to be different kinds. And another like little hobbit house. That's really cute. Everybody has little hobbit houses all over the place. And let's see, I think the chickens are on the other side. So we'll have to go check out the chickens later. Whoa, look at those fish. Oh, there's more people up here too. Oh my gosh, look at these fish. Hello person, Liam. All right, let's go ahead and talk to Liam. Hey you, did you just arrive in town? You must have traveled a long time. Are you hungry? I would be if I was you. My name's Liam. I cook the best fish in town. Well, as long as I don't burn it. All right, so he's probably good friends with the fisher girl down there. And you're supposed to have, I think, 10 bachelors and bachelorettes that you'll be able to flirt with. Oh, who's this person? Daco. Oh, he's got a little like shark tooth on his, I wonder if he's <laughs> one of the bachelors you can romance. He's got a little shark tooth on his necklace. You see this tooth, Outlander? I took it off a Dacosaurus back when I was a kid, just just like ya. My name is a reminder that this old man can catch anything that's lurking down in the ocean and then cook it really well too, I'll tell ya. Oh my gosh, so he can make some really yummy food. I wonder if that means there's like all sorts of monsters you'd have to fight. Man, with Battle Chef Brigade also coming out pretty soon, it seems like there's a lot of themes of like going and battling things and bringing them back 
interesting you're an interesting looking fish and bringing them back to eat so all right looks like they're cooking up some fish up there and there's like more fish over here wow they've got a lot of fish hanging up oh my gosh look at the little swordfish oh it's so cute yeah that's so awesome all right and then let's see a lighthouse more trees i wish i could rummage around in their houses but again rough draft early version all right, let's go see. I need to go see the chickens. <gasps> I just remembered the chickens. I need to go see them now. Okay, so let's run this way. Another orchard. I wonder if you get different areas that you can farm and collect from, or if it's just your farm that you're allowed to work on. So if we remember from yesterday, when I walked that direction, I think it actually took us back to our farm. Um, and then that's the undertaker. There's another one. Oh yeah, this is another one of the hobbit houses. So if I want to go see the old lady I saw walking around yesterday, and if I want to go see what's going on with the chickens, then I need to run to the other side of town over here. And I wonder if you can, like, ride the horses to be able to get around faster. That's the traditional thing you do in Harvest Moon and Rune Factory games. I like the movements, too. The character animations are pretty good. I really love the way the animals move too. They're so cute. There's our male lady right over there. Oh, there's somebody over there too. All right, let's go this way. We'll follow her and see where she's going. And there's supposed to be lots of different wild animals you'll be able to tame. So there's a lot in the offering. Oh, that guy has a little, a little sign above his head. Let's go see what this is all about then. Oh my gosh, there's a huge town over here. Oh, and there's this, oh my. And that person's walking around in her undies with what appears to be a bottle of juice. Huh. We'll, ca we'll come and talk to this guy first. What is he? He's on stilts? <laughs> this is so cool. Alfred, huh? All right, Alfred. I love his hat. That is so cool. Look, it's got a bunch of fruit inside of the hat. Hey, kid. I see you found your way around here. Your shop is here, right behind me. You should go in and have a look around. Don't forget, your first rinse payment is in two weeks. I'll be expecting $5,000 from you. All right. Thank you, Alfred. And you can shop here so you can get barn feed seed, blueberry seeds. <gasps> Let's try growing some stuff. Carrot seeds, coop feed, eggplant seeds, pumpkin seeds, sugarcane seed. Can I get anything else whoops i didn't mean to do that all right let's see um coop feed carrots blueberries sound really cute let's get a couple blueberry seeds uh i'll get a few of them uh, i can't get any produce let's see oh look at this decent poop what i i bet that's for fertilizing your fields that's hilarious different nets and or the different tools you can have coal which maybe you need to use coal for something you can buy bees i'm totally gonna buy some bees oh my gosh i'm gonna get like four i'll get three bees dun dun, dun. oh my gosh i have things this is so fun I, I wonder if you can get like a little oh is this my shop oh this is so cool oh this is so much fun and then i can put different things down here i've got some weeds that i can put for sell <laughs> oh oh hello person what are you doing in here? She doesn't talk yet. This is kind of interesting. Oh my, all right. So you you are supposed to have like, oh my gosh, there's another person. She's not happy with what she sees for sale. So I think these are just like potential customers who come in and kind of review what's in the, in the shop. But you're supposed to be able to make it so you can like customize how your shop looks. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute outfits. So this is like the racketeer part of the game where you bring stuff into your shop and you put it up for sale. I really don't have anything yet. Oh, he's got like a cool little bag on the back there too. Cool character designs. Oh my gosh, I need to put my bees away. I need to see if I can grow some blueberries. There's a wind mill right over here and what do we have this way <gasps> wow look at this cute little farm there's so much more stuff than i thought there would be oh my gosh this is adorable can i pick it okay i can't i can't steal from their farm but there's little scarecrows oh my goodness oh look at the turnips they're so cute oh this is really adorable i wonder where the heck i am i don't even know oh is this like where we do tools and stuff nice there's horseshoes over here very interesting and blueprints okay oh a person let's go talk to her oh she looks really cool she reminds me of the i think in rune factory frontier i can't remember her name right now but she's the elfin blacksmith she reminds me a lot of her all right emmeline 
Welcome to town. I'm Brian's apprentice, Emily. It's good to see a new face around here. I'm sure your arrival will be helpful. Everyone's quite busy with all the work we have to do. Let's do our best. Oh, that's so cool. And then we can get the bug net. We can get the different things from her too. She's also got copper, gold, and silver ore. All right, let's go back. And then can we talk to her again? Nope. All right. So that's Emmeline. I think she's definitely one of the bachelorettes. Oh, wow. I really love all the details on what they have on their outfits. This is Brian. Hi, I'm Brian. If you ever need to build something on your land, I'm the man to ask. Well, Emmeline will probably lead the project, but I'll help. All right. And then he's got same stuff right now. All right. Back, back, back. He's got a whole bunch of materials over here. That's very, very, like, amazingly detailedly cut. You guys are really perfectionist on doing your job. I have to, I have to say that's really wonderfully done. All right. Let's see what else we have. Man, there's a lot more back here. I thought we'd only have a little bit more to explore today, but there's a lot more here than I thought there was. And it looks like there's even a little picnic. Oh, it's a school. Oh, that's so cute. This is a little school. I wonder if we'll have like a school teacher of some kind who could possibly be one of the bachelors or bachelorettes. So it looks like here would be some of the places. Right now a tree has fallen down, so we can't walk over there. But future places to be able to explore ditto over here where we can probably gather a whole bunch of the materials and things like that and then what do we have back here little house i really like how they're hanging up the little laundry very cute very cute i imagine the art's probably gonna have like a lot more polish everything just looks so so nice <gasps> there's the chickens okay i have to finish exploring over here real fast and then i gotta go see those chickens because that's so exciting Oh my gosh, I like this house. I, this is creative. Just built up on the side of the cliff like this. Beautiful view. Can I live here? Oh, that's right. I think I remember reading that you can actually buy houses all over the place on the Kickstarter. It mentioned that you can have multiple home locations. Um, I'm not sure if that'll end up being something that's in final development or not, but I'm really excited to see. All right, so let's run this way. And now we're going to go look at the chickens. Oh my gosh, oh, there's the little cows and the little sheep. There's so much more here than I thought there would be. All right, I'm coming chickens. I'm coming, I'm coming. I love you guys. Oh, there's chickens with little heart faces. I want her hat. Lucy, your hat is the best thing. It has a chicken of live chicken in the top. That's the best. Hi, my name's Lucy, and this is my chicken, Egg. You know, because she was just an egg when I found her. Anyway, we'll be here if you need anything. <gasps> Lucy, 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 your chickens. <laughs> They're so precious. Your hat, Lucy. Everything about this is just, is just brilliance upon brilliance upon joy. I am so happy. Can I pet the chickens? <gasps> I pet the chicken. I can pet the chicken. Can I buy the house? Can I buy this house right here? And can I just like live in the chicken field? This is so cute. So here's the chicken grass and here's the chicken feed. Oh my gosh. And then up here are the cows and goats. They look really happy and really cute. There's so many of them up here. Oh my gosh. And who do we have? Hey, this person I think was visiting. Gil. Hey, newcomer, you can call me Gil. I take care of my grandma's herd, so if you ever want to adopt an animal, just come by and ask. All right, so he's a little guy, and so he has barn feed, great cow milk, great goat milk, great sheep milk, great sheep wool, uh, barn feed seeds, and then he can sell us cows, goats, and sheep. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough money for that, I don't think. Yeah, I don't have enough money for that. Oh, but I can pet the cow. Oh, that's so cute. Very, very, very adorable. All right, so let's see. I'm guessing this is his grandma then, so let's come talk to Adelaide. Why, hello, sweetheart. It's quite pleasant to see a young one like you around town. You can call me Adelaide. If you bring me some tea, I'll happily share some of the town's story with you. If I could make foods, oh my gosh, please tell me there's going to be like a crafting system for cooking. That would be amazing. Oh, who are you? I love your hair. I love your dress. I love your little basket full of full of produce. I don't even know what to say I love most about you. And I just met you. Green and plants. That's that's all I need to know. 
Oh, so you're the new one in town. I didn't think you'd come by so soon. If you ever feel like growing a garden, look, her hands are even muddy. They're like intensely muddy. This is a serious green thumb, well, green haired gardener here for sure. All right. So if we come and talk to her and visit her shop, barley, blueberry, carrot, corn, eggplant, orange, daisy, and pink daisy seeds. Yes, please. I may not be able to get everything done today that I thought I, oh my gosh, she's got so many more seeds. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So I may not be able to get everything done today that I wanted to. Um, so I think next time we'll have to come in and we'll have to try with the bumblebees and the seeds and we'll plant them and see what it's like to grow them. And here's Yasmin or Jasmine. I'm not sure how his name would be pronounced. I think he's definitely one of the bachelors as well. It's a pleasure to meet you. You can call me Yasmin or Jasmine, I guess. To be honest, I'm glad you moved into town because we rarely see new faces around here. Oh my goodness. And so what does he sell? Same things and the produce. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Look at all of those things. The daisies sell for so much money. Holy days. But again, remember, like, like I've been saying, this is all just, this is all just in the earliest, earliest stages of the rough draft of what the game could become. She even has mud all over her clothes too. Oh, I like, I, I kind of want to take her under my wing and be like, okay, we need to get you cleaned up a little bit, but oh, is that the sugar cane? what that is so cool oh are those the strawberries they're so cute all right you guys i'm very happy i'm very very happy i i can't believe i missed out on like the main chunk the main oh there's even still another person over here i missed out on the main chunk of town without realizing it yesterday but i think tomorrow what we'll try to do is we'll try planting some things and we'll try oh nadia let's talk to you so you're the newcomer I've heard about. I'm sure you'll fit right in. My name is Nadia. I work in town as a cook. Have you met my kids already? If they ever bother you, and they probably will, just come by and tell me. So she seems pretty cool and looks like she takes recipe orders. Look at that little carrot and there's a little egg in the frying pan back there. I really hope you can cook. That would be kind of amazing. And she's got like a little restaurant set up over here and there's a cute little gazebo. I wonder in the, in the system of being able to woo the villagers, if you'll be able to like go on dates and things like that oh, there's gonna be I, I see a lot of potential and I see a lot of a lot of detail to the different characters I see a lot of detail to just adding in little quirks for the games and I see a lot of hints at the things that we really loved oh look at the lighthouse actually light up at night a lot of hints at the things that really make the heart of what Harvest Moon and Rune Factory for those of us who that's where my heart as a gamer truly is too um, a lot of those important parts are here and I'm really excited to see what else is going to be added in and how everything is going to advance. There's already been so much put into it and with a year's worth of work to still be added in, it's probably going to be pretty amazing. But alright, we'll see if the demo will allow us to grow some crops, take care of some bees, and hopefully pet more chickens and even try selling some things in our shop next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye bye!